Okay, let me show you guys how to solve this application problem that involves a bearing. Right here it says, radial direction finders are placed at points A and B, which are 3.46 miles apart on an east-west line. And we also know that A is west of B, okay? And right here it says, from A, the bearing of a certain radial transmitter is 47.7 degrees. And from B, the bearing is 302.5 degrees. We are going to find the distance of the transmitter from A. And for all these kind of questions, we definitely have to draw a picture first, right? And first of all, let me just say this is my point A, and I'll draw a horizontal line. Let's say right here is my point B. A is on the west, B is on the east. And we know that they are 3.46 miles apart, right? And let me just write this down without putting on units. We will just put on the unit at the end. Okay, let's look at this information here. We have from A, the bearing of a certain radial transmitter is 47.7 degrees. And you see that this angle right here is the bearing. And it doesn't tell us if it's north, south, east, or west. It doesn't have any direction in the front or in the back, right? In this situation, where we are just given an angle, it's always, always, always we start with the north direction like this, right? By default, okay, we always look up to the north direction. And then, 47.7 degrees, we always turn from the north pole and then counterclockwise. Every single time, when we don't have any directions, you do this, north and then counterclockwise. In this case, we have to turn 47.7 degrees. So it's going to be like this, right? So let me just indicate that this is my 47.7 degrees. And we have to look at this direction now. But I don't know how far I have to go. If you would like, you can just draw a straight line like this. But I don't know though, right? I don't know when I have to stop. We have to look at the other information. From B, the bearing is 302.5 degrees. Same situation, like this, right? We are not given any of the directions, east, west, whatsoever, south, north. <laughs> in, this case, in this case, we also look up, okay? Start from the north first. And then we turn clockwise. In this case, we have to turn 302.5 degrees. And let's just keep track. From to here to here, this is what? 180 degrees, right? And then we Come back to here, since this was horizontal, this is vertical, you know this much right here is 270 degrees already. We need to get a total of 302.5 degrees, right? That means I have to go up 32.5 degrees more. So let me just indicate this much more, all right? Something like this. And this is the direction I want to look at. See, it's from here, and I want to look at that direction. And of course, I'm just going to complete this triangle. I will just have to draw my third side from point B and extend it to that. So that's the triangle that we have. I don't have to go this far right here. All right, so it's the, the triangle like this. And in red, let me just indicate that that was 302.5 degrees. Okay. We should definitely find the angles inside of the triangles, right? So we have to find out what angle A is. I will just call this angle A inside of the triangle. And this will be angle B. And then we have, well, A and B, of course, we can call this to be C, right? And let's figure that out first. So for measure angle A, let's take a look. North is straight up, and then this is horizontal. Vertical and horizontal makes 90 degrees. This much right here in red was 47.7 degrees already. This, the angle in black, which is angle A, it's just going to be 90 degrees minus that, right? So let's do that. 90 degrees minus 47.7 degrees. And of course, we can just subtract. And you will get 42.3 degrees, right? So I will indicate this right here for you guys, 42.3 degrees. And then we will also have to find out angle B. Okay, from here to here, you know, from here to here, right here, right? As we talk about it, it was 270 already. But we went a little bit more. 
for measure angle B, the whole thing was 302.5 degrees, but from here to here, it was 270. So we have to subtract 270 degrees. And this is going to give us 32.5 degrees. And this is going to be the angle inside right here, and let's just put that down, 32.5 degrees, like that. Okay, and that's the degree symbol. At the end, of course, we have to find out the measure of angle C. And because if you have the measure of angle C, you see this angle and this side, well, C and C match, we can use law of sine, isn't it? So that will be wonderful. For measure of angle C, we can just do 180 minus this minus that. So let's see that, 180 degrees minus 42.3 degrees minus 32.5 degrees. And just subtract, subtract, subtract. This is going to give you guys 105.2 degrees. Okay, let's do it on the calculator whatsoever. And let me put this right here. Notice that this is not right triangle, right? Because the C angle is 105.2 degrees. Okay, so this is pretty much how we can have that triangle. And now, let's go back to the question. It says, we are going to find the distance from the transmitter, uh, well, from A to the transmitter, right? C was the transmitter. So this is what we have right here. If you would like, can draw like a little whatever, like this, that's the radio transmitter. Anyway, I need to go from A to C. Well, let's do some labeling. This is angle C, so if I go away like this right here, I will label this as little c, right, for this side. This right here was angle B. If I go away, I will label this as little b, isn't it? And in my case, I just need to find little b. That will be the distance from A to C. That's all I have to do. And once again, because we have C and C already, we can use law of sine. And let's do that right here. Let me put down sine capital C over little c. This is going to be, we have to use B, angle B and this little b, because we are trying to find the distance from A to C. Just depends on the label, okay? So we have to use the B. Right here, we have to put down sine capital B over little b. This is the version of the law of sine that we use, right? This part of the law of sine. Okay, plug in values. Capital C is 105.2, so we have sine of 105.2 degrees over little c, which is 3.46. So let's just divide by 3.46 right here. And this should be equal to sine b, which is 32.5 degrees. So let me just put that down, 32.5 degrees over little b, which we don't know, and that's what we're trying to find, right? Okay, then we can, of course, just cross multiply if you would like, and if you have other ways to do it, it's up to you as well, but we'll just do this times that, which is b times sine of 105.2 degrees, and this times that is 3.46 times sine of 32.5 degrees. And then, of course, you can divide both sides by this. And let me just draw this better for you guys. Divide both sides by sine of 105.2 degrees. So that this that will cancel. Divide this right here. Sine of 105.2 degrees. And now, B is approximately, and just use the calculator to do this, right? And you will get about 1.93, okay? And that will be this distance right here. However, just to make this fancier, because we're dealing with a situation question, right? This is how we should present the question. Well, I mean, this is how we should present the answer. We shouldn't just put down B is equal to 1.93 miles. We should go back to the question and then just write this down in a complete sentence. So here is the answer. I'll just tell you guys that uh, the distance from the transmitter, well, from A to the transmitter, let me just phrase it this way, to the radio transmitter is about, about 1.93 
miles, all right? So the distance from A to the transmitter is about 1.93 miles. And that's it.